You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time, Key Budge, Claire Scotty today. Claire, welcome back. Thank you very much. I'm feeling like summer doesn't really know <laughs> what it's doing. I, the other day I woke up and I was like, is it fall? It feels like it's fall out there. But I know 80s temperatures are going to get here quickly. And this weekend has so much going on everywhere. I'm very excited. Yeah, Last week was a little bit quiet during the the Father's Day weekend, and everyone kind of just chilled, relaxed, had some things to do. But uh, once again, we're in summer, and things are ramping up. Yes, they are. The next two weeks especially, but, you know, this weekend has a lot of really fun things happening. I'm really excited for this summer. (laughs) All right. So where do we want to start this week? Well, yeah, let's start with our breweries this week. West Lane will not be having their paint night tonight, but Kiki's Tacos will be there for Taco Thursday, Taco with a K. Friday, they have their Folk and Bluegrass Fest happening, and Whole Shot Pizza will be there. And then on Saturday, they're having an alternative rock night, which is fun. A couple different bands will come out, and you're going to enjoy some alternative rock. Lupita's Tacos and Hot Tamales will be there, and they'll have dessert by From the South, who I have not had the chance of visiting yet, so I'm excited to see what that has in store. Interesting. Right? (laughs) And then every Wednesday, they have their open mic night at 5.30, and Cub and Gup is usually there to serve up pizza. Then Local Craft Beer has their open mic night tonight, and West Coast Barbecue will be there. Another new, new vendor, and... Sounds like delicious food is on the way. Friday through Sunday, you'll find Lupita's Hot Tamales and Tacos at Local Craft Beer. And then this Saturday, they have Smokin' Jack Primo coming to play at 7 p.m. He's always fun. (laughs) And then we know every Wednesday, we have Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night at 6.30 with Poke Express. Old West will still be closed this weekend, but they are looking forward to another grand opening on the 30th. And we're looking forward to seeing them and drinking some more good beer. Heading over to our vineyards, we have Tehachapi Winery, and they're open on Fridays with their happy hour, and they have 20% off all wine purchases. They have charcuterie available Friday through Sunday, and then on Saturday, Chris Murphy will be there from 2 to 5. Sunday, Sean Duffy will be there from 2 to 5, and they'll have Mosner sandwiches available as well. And then coming up next weekend on the 30th, Tatchby Winery has a comedy night. And this is always fun. Sam Ridley will be there with two other comedians. And there's so much hilarity that takes place. It's it's a really good night and a good time to just laugh and relax. There's nothing like having a night where you just get a chance to just forget about everything and just enjoy laughing. Yes. Very therapeutic. <laughs> it absolutely is. And Red House Barbecue will be there. Dinner starts at 6. The show will be at 7. It's $45 a person, and you can get your tickets on Eventbrite. Okay. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has Tamra playing from 3 to 6, and they have their happy hour happening as well. Saturday, Dave Mordigian will be there from 2 to 5. Sunday, Joey Kuntz will be there. And they are doing a symphony orchestra, a Tatchby Symphony Orchestra fundraiser starting June 10th last week and running through August 31st. Now, what's kind of fun about this is that they have a wine called Symphony. It's a white wine. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite whites that they have. And they will be donating $1 for every bottle that is sold, every Symphony bottle that's sold, and that will go to TSO. So it's a fun little fundraiser, and it's a really good wine. So if you're into summery whites, Grab a bottle and know that there's a little donation heading to our local symphony orchestra. Very good. <laughs> the menu this weekend for Attached Wine and Cattle Company is tri-tip sandwiches with potato salad or chips, summer salad with tri-tip or shrimp topping, shrimp cocktail, and of course that charcuterie, sangria, and warm homemade cookies. <laughs> 
Dorner Family Vineyards will be at Farmer's Market tonight. So another wonderful local winery will be there. And we have tastings. We're going to have West Lane beer as well. And it's going to be a really good time. We have been selling out every Thursday. And every winery and brewery keeps bringing more and more and more. And we keep selling out. So it has been very popular. We're very happy to be here and to offer this. And we're excited for the next few weeks too. There's nothing. And I've been to our Farmer's Markets here this summer the energy and the the vibe is is so fun family friendly and having a little glass of wine or a a beer walking down the street it's just a nice feeling to be out socializing and now we've put more tables the city has that are like kind of bar top tables down the street oh perfect so so you can uh, just kind of stop and you know chat if you want to put your drink down and then have that conversation and go back to checking out the local produce. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> and then Dorner, you know, is open on Fridays from noon to six now. And Saturday, Tom Holden will be playing from one to five. And Sunday, Taylor Lewis will be there from one to five. On Saturday, you'll find sub sandwiches. And then on Sunday, they make that amazing pizza. And you'll also get gelato, beer, wine floats, slushies, all the good stuff, all throughout the weekend. And I do want to mention that they just won silver medals for three different wines from the OC Fair, Orange County Fair. Their Riesling, their Rosé, and their Albarino all won silver medals. So congratulations, Dorner. Another wonderful lineup. And I'm excited to go get some bottles now. (laughs) Mike and Michelle do such a fantastic job. And they put a lot of their heart themselves into their winemaking. And just uh, (laughs) so happy for their success. Absolutely. And speaking of that, they have another wine blending class coming up on the 24th, this Saturday from one to three. They have a couple spots still open. So you'll have a chance to talk to Mike, learn how he does some of his wine blending, and then make your own bottle. And I know this last wine blending class was a huge success. Everyone's so, so excited and had such a great time. It's $90 a person. You get your own bottle. You get snacks. You know, there's you learn all this information. It's a really great deal. And you can get your tickets at DornerFamilyVineyard.com forward slash shop. Over at Triassic on Friday, they're open from noon to six and they will have charcuterie available Friday through Sunday. On Saturday, Carrie Park will be playing at 2.30 and Jamel's Good Food Gang, hashtag you want to eat like this? will be there. And on Sunday, Michael Peters will be playing at 2.30. Nice. Yes. All right. So breweries, vineyards, good stuff happening. (laughs) Now, are there other areas for wine tasting where we see this kind of blend of entertainment and food coming in? Because I haven't noticed it. I mean, maybe it's changed out there if you go head out to Paso or Napa. But I, I I don't see what we're doing here in our Tehachapi wine culture and I know at the breweries, you go to microbreweries, other places, they've got other food options and things. But it's just down to the wine tasting, I haven't experienced that. This is something really unique that Tehachapi does. You know, having live entertainment all the time, doing all of these different activities, you know, they're, they're opening it up so that you really get to experience what it's like to maybe harvest some grapes or make some wine or see what the bottling process is like or do some wine blending or just get immersed in what it is to be a wine grower and a winemaker. And yeah, Lon, we've done a lot of traveling. We've been to a lot of wineries. I have not seen that kind of level of interaction (laughs) with any other wineries. And then people come and they get, they take that in. It maybe kind of brings them in. Oh, yeah, let's go listen to some music and this. And then once they taste the wine, they go, oh, I didn't, I, thank goodness I came because this is the, the, the benefit, these award-winning wines that are available here locally. Yes, yes. And I know all of our wineries have massive memberships. Yeah, everyone who comes and tastes, they think, oh, I, I need to keep this coming. <laughs> right, it's unique. And yes, it is unique, and it's because of Tehachapi's unique location, too. These wines are different from anything else you're going to taste. So it just makes it extra special, and 
Hey, I can sit here and brag all day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, though. It really is true. You know, and that's something that my wife and I used to go and do is go to other areas prior to uh, our, our wine industry growing and blossoming was to do the wine tasting elsewhere. But we never had those kind of experiences. And now when we come here, we look forward to, hey, you know, we listen, you know, I get to share, hey, so-and-so is going to be here and so-and-so is going to be there and they're going to have this kind of food. And those aren't the things that you would see out in Paso. Right. or anywhere else. So I think I want to just curious if it, we are unique <laughs> and being kind of being the trendsetters, if you will, yes. in, this, in this area. I agree. And, and a lot of our food trucks, you know, we have a lot of local food trucks and a few food trucks from Lancaster, Bakersfield, but we get that variety because they're always moving around and they're going to different wineries and breweries and you get to taste something different and fresh and fun. And I think that makes us pretty unique too. Very good. All right. So what else do we have going on this weekend? Or before we do that, let's let's roll back. We kind of we were talking wine industry. We should talk Discover Tehachapi. So let's talk about what you and your husband, Chris, do. You guys have a business, Discover Tehachapi. You can even take a deeper dive into sharing our wine culture for people that want to take these exclusive wine tours. Yes, absolutely. So we, on top of our all-inclusive wine tours and beer tours, we offer these custom tours and exclusive experiences where you can design your own tour if there's something that you want to do that's a little bit different. If you have a group of eight people, we can make that happen and we can work with you on that. But we also do a deeper dive into some of these experiences. And, you know, we have our Sip and Stars coming up in August and September. We have three different dates to choose from. And that's an opportunity to taste the wines that are being made at Dorner. And you get to learn a little bit more from Mike and how he's making these wines and have a really fun tasting experience. And then they have a wonderful Tuscan dinner, a four-course Tuscan dinner that they will be serving. And then as soon as the sun goes down, the Bear Valley Springs Astronomy Club comes out with several telescopes. And, you know, they have a star pointer, too. So you'll be out there with your glass of wine, and you get to learn where the constellations are and find the Milky Way and learn about these different planetary bodies and you know, next time you look at, up at the stars, it's going to be a whole different experience because you've learned so much more. And it's it was a sold-out experience last year. We had such a great time, and we're really excited to offer it again this year. And we are working, um, I wasn't supposed to tease this, but we are working on a couple other exclusive experiences. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I can share what those will be. All right, you're going to break <laughs> it here first? I will, yes. Okay, okay. Listen to the Hatch Pod is going to come out here first before I post it. <laughs> All right, perfect. And how can people follow along? Social media, website? Yes, if you're on social media, Instagram and Facebook is where you'll find us at Discover to Hatch P. You can always give us a call at 661-235-5334. And everything is on our website, discovertohatchpea.com. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So uh, there's more going on this weekend at Tehachapi. You said it's a, an event-filled weekend. Yes, <laughs> it absolutely is. And the first event I want to share is the Job Fair, hosted by the Chamber of Commerce and sponsored by FIELD, Farm Workers Institute of Education and Development. This will take place from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Aspen Builder Center downtown. That's 410 West D Street, D as in dog. And you're going to find Rio Tinto. They have job openings at all levels. And then Town Place Inn and Suites, Pierce Renewables, Mountain Bowling, Corrections Department, Terrigen, Field has several different places, uh, you know, things that they're looking for, employees that they're looking for, including they are looking to hire another teacher for their Helena Chavez early childhood uh, daycare and preschool. So if you have a background in teaching, this might be a really good opportunity to help some of our youngest uh, members of our community. Kern County will be out there with different job opportunities and several others have also signed up. So this is a much bigger job fair than we had last year. It's growing and it is a wonderful opportunity to see who's hiring and if it's a good fit for you. The Color Run in Stallion Springs is happening this Saturday at 9 a.m., 
please call 661-822-3268 if you want to be a part of that. And this is available for everyone, not just Stallion Springs members and residents. Stallion Springs Summer Nights are also taking off this Saturday. There'll be food trucks and games and music and all kinds of fun stuff. Starts at 530 at the Stallion Springs Community Center. And then we also have that wonderful presentation by David Whiteley about the Tomokani Park. That will happen at the Community Congregation Church in the Friendship Hall at 100 East F Street at 10 a.m. Really cool presentation, learning about one of our more historic areas of Tehachapi. There will also be a workshop at the Village Tehachapi for Teen ASL, which is a really, really cool thing. Um, It'll be a whole activity day where you're painting different pictures and learning ASL signs for colors and activity-related words. And this is an activity specifically designed for children 12 to 18. It starts at 1230. It's at the Village Tehachapi, which is at 101 East H Street on the other side of the railroad tracks. It's $15 a person, and it's a really cool time to... Either either learn some signs, or if you are someone with a hearing disability, or um, if you have if you're hard of hearing, this would be a really cool activity. Please contact Presida Stetson at A S L with Presida P R E S E D A at gmail.com. Our local library has lunches for kids Tuesday through Friday, eleven thirty to twelve thirty, and they have a lot of really fun stuff happening this weekend. So Friday, they have their preschool story time at 1230 and doodle club at four and teen manga club at 430. Saturday is family crafts at noon. Tuesday is toddler story time at 11. 430 is Captain Tall Tale (laughs) coming out to present and read and just provide a really cool experience for kiddos. 530 is a sound bath by Sage and Soul. On Wednesday at 11 o'clock, Readers Theater will be starting and they're casting at 11 and they're doing a performance at 12.30. 4 p.m. is Got Yarn. 5 p.m. is the Teen Writing Circle. And then next Thursday, they're doing a paper bag craft after lunch and two o'clock is Lego Club. All right. So our library just keeps ramping it up. Yeah, I noticed. (laughs) I saw that on their social media, they had a list of everything. And I was like, it's so nice to see... And it, it seems like every time we get the new uh, department head that comes in, they add a little bit more and a little something, you know, that they grow upon. And, and we've had some really good people running our library for the last few years, and they are really engaged in doing these community events, especially for our kids. Yes, absolutely. And it's kind of exciting. You've done a podcast with Seda Wolf, you know, one of our local young artists who is a wonderful graphic artist and has already published work and uh, I follow her on social media she's been sharing all of the projects she's been doing in college well she's coming back over the summer and she will be at the library next week so I'll be talking about that oh very cool yes so that's really cool (laughs) thanks for coming back Seda (laughs) we'll have to get her back on the podcast she's been on (laughs) twice to talk about her her soul stream a uh, comic book. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> what's next? Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then heading over to July 1st, a lot is happening, but there's a couple of things had up happening outside of the norm that I wanted to share. July 1st and 2nd, Tehachapi Wine and Cattle Company will be celebrating their 20th anniversary of when Bob and Patty Souza first planted the grapes. And those were the first wine grapes planted in Tehachapi. They will also be celebrating the 15th anniversary of the tasting room opening. All happened on the same weekend. (laughs) And then Bob and Patty Souza will be there on the first and the second. It's going to be a big shindig, lots of music, lots of good food. Just a chance to meet Bob and Patty if you haven't met them and celebrate the success of the first Tehachapi Winery. Yeah, that'll be a fun event. Yes. (laughs) Bob is a character. (laughs) <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> he volunteers at the visitor center with Patty, and oh, nice. I love it when they come in. And they they've made lifelong friends from working at the visitor center, and they're so welcoming, and they tell so many wonderful stories, and they're so helpful. I and didn't realize they that. were volunteering there. That's they're they're just giving. Right, they've been a part yes. of this community for you know so long, and it's just they continue to give and participate. 
And if you get a chance to talk to them, they are, you'll lose time because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you just really get deep into the, you fall into their stories that they're telling very visual, just great storytellers. Yes. And and you gain so much every time. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Uh, happening on July 1st as well, the Tea Pops and Mountain Music are coming together and they're doing a day of music over there by Mountain Music, which is at 206 East F Street from 10 to 3. And local students, local musicians, Tea Pops, they're all coming out and they are playing music all throughout the day. And I love that. <laughs> it's yeah, going to be good. That'll be another cool thing. Yes. On July 4th, our local Heritage Museum is celebrating their 50th anniversary. There will be cake. There will be a silent auction. There will be games. There will be lots of wonderful things happening. And it's a chance to head over, see what's new, see what they're planning on doing in the future, and celebrate this wonderful museum that we have. Their silent auction will have three different items. One is a historical cement bag from Monolith when the cement plant first opened, a historic t-shirt that commemorates the 1952 earthquake, and a DVD. And then they will also have an American flag that will be flown over the White House on this 4th of July, and that is donated by Congressman McCarthy and his wife Judy. And so this auction will take place from noon to one on July 4th, but you can submit your bid now by calling 661 Seven five zero seven two seven six. I'm excited. I, I'm glad that they're doing this, and the auction was a really great idea. And I know they're already getting a lot of attention because of the flag, but also there's so many cool items in there that you know you can't really find anymore. Right. <laughs> July second has the Country Oaks Baptist Church will be hosting the Tatchby Symphony Orchestra concert coming up, and that will be from four to six. And this will be under the direction of David Newby and the Tatchby Symphony Chorus, led by Sandra Adams. And they're going to celebrate the 4th of July with a stirring program of show tunes, movie music, patriotic songs, marches, light classical, and pops music. This is going to be a really fun, different kind of concert and getting you all ramped up for the 4th of July. Yeah, liking it. Yeah. I think that's everything. I'm sorry if I miss something out there. There's there's a lot going no. on, and I love it. <laughs> but the 4th of July is a Tuesday this year, and from 7 in the morning until 9.30 at night, Woo. it is going to be just <laughs> packed with things to do here in Tatchby. Yes, yes. I know my daughter's excited about the rodeo and the fireworks at night, and I hope she she's able to take a nap during the day because she won't last that long. <laughs> But I know she's very excited. Yeah. Well, uh, Claire, before we go, let's uh, remind everyone again about Discover to Hatchby and how they can follow along. Yes. So please follow us on social media at Instagram, Facebook, at Discover to Hatchby. You can find us online, discovertohatchby.com, and give us a call, 661 235 5334. All right, folks, if you have a question for Claire or an event that you'd like to share with us that we can talk about on Tehatchipod in a future episode, send it to media at TehatchipeCityHall.com. I forward all of these to Claire, and I did even got some this morning, and uh, forwarded it off to her, and uh, so that way she could make sure she included it because she updates this just up to the minute before we go on the air, and we've even, while recording, she has received texts and is updated on the fly. So, I mean, that's how we do it. This information is, is as fresh as it can get that we get to you. Yes. So send it to media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Claire, thanks for all the time. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll catch you again soon here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, Email media at tehatchbcityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.